Hello everyone, my name is Zongwei Zhou. Our paper provides pre-trained 3D models, which learn representation directly from a large amount of unlabeled images, and generate powerful target models through transfer learning. So we nickname these generic models as models genesis. Nowadays, ImageNet-based transfer learning is a common practice in medical image analysis. In contrast, our model genesis are different from ImageNet models in three ways. First, we pre-train models directly on medical images, while ImageNet models are pre-trained on natural images. We believe that transfer learning from medical to medical images should be more powerful than from natural to medical images. Second, model genesis are trained in 3D directly while ImageNet models have to be trained in 2D. The most important medical modalities are formed in 3D, such as CT and MRI. To fit the ImageNet-based transport learning paradigm, we have to solve a 3D problem in 2D, which definitely lose 3D spatial information and inevitably compromise the performance. So we believe that 3D imaging tasks should be solved in 3D. And most importantly, ImageNet demands a huge amount of annotation cost. But we pre-train model genesis by self-supervised learning without any expert annotation. Here shows the diagram of our self-supervised learning framework. We designed it as a simple image restoration task. Given the image, we first deform it and then feed into a model. Let the model learn to restore the original image. We adopt the VNet architecture. The ground truth is the original image, and the input is the deformed image. To deform the image, we propose four different approaches. First, nonlinear transformation. In CT scan, the pixel intensity of air, organ, or bone has to be in a certain range of Hansfeld unit, which means CT scan itself naturally comes with the pixel-wise annotation. Therefore, we apply a nonlinear translating function to the CT images. By restoring the original intensity values, the model must learn from the organ appearance, including shape, and the intensity distribution. Second, local pixel shuffling. We randomly shuffle the pixel position within small regions, and then let the model learn to recover the original image. By doing so, the model must learn the organ texture and the local boundaries. We also have image outpainting and inpainting where some small regions are hidden from the model by random numbers. In art painting, to restore the original image, the model must learn from the organ spatial layout and the global geometry by extrapolation. And in inpainting, the model must learn the local continuities of organs by interpolation. We combine these four deformations together to let the model learn from multiple perspectives. Our ablation study shows that the combined approach performs more robust compared with each individual. Also, our self-learning framework is scalable because it is easy to incorporate any other meaningful image deformations. After pre-training, the encoder could be used for target classification tasks and the encoder-decoder together could be used for target segmentation task. We have evaluated model genesis on seven different medical applications, including classification and segmentation on CT, MRI, ultrasound, and X-ray images across disease and organs. I will present the major conclusions here. First thing first, 3D models are critical to utilize spatial information offered by 3D medical images. However, training 3D model directly is not easy because they usually have more parameters to optimize. 
two out of three target applications showed that they perform equivalent or even worse than 2D ImageNet models. But our pre-trained model genesis significantly outperform 3D model learned from scratch. Here the red bar is our model genesis, and the green one is learning 3D model from scratch. Furthermore, 3D model genesis consistently outperform any 2D approaches, including state-of-art ImageNet model and our model genesis in 2D. We here introduce this degrade 2D model genesis to have an apple-to-apple -apple comparison with ImageNet models. As seen, model genesis 2D offer performance equivalent to ImageNet models. This result is unprecedented because no self-supervised method have thus far performed as well as ImageNet-based transport learning. Through all seven medical applications, we envision that model genesis may serve as the primary resource of 3D transport learning for medical imaging. In this paper, we pre-train model genesis only from Luna 16 and NIH chest X-ray, without using the label tag with this dataset. We plan to pre-train model genesis on other body regions or other modalities such as MRI, and eventually, we want to pre-train model genesis from all the available medical images on the internet. We make the development of model genesis open science and invite researchers around the world to contribute to this effort. We hope that our collective effort will lead to the holy grail of model genesis, effective across disease, organs, and modalities. For more information, please join us tomorrow for the poster session. Thank you.